Then the Prophet ﷺ moves on to canceling calls of pre-Islamic era. And these calls that may go against Sharia, may go against the teachings of Islam, anything that goes against the Quran and the Sunnah, the Prophet says, it is under my feet. It's all abolished. It's all canceled. Anything that was pre-Islamic and goes against Islam and the Sharia, it's completely abolished. And he gave an example of blood feuds, which were prevalent at the time. So if someone kills someone, the tribe of the victim will kill two or more of the murderer's tribe, not the murderer, innocent people. And in retaliation, they would kill five, and they will kill 10, and they will keep on fighting. The Prophet said, all of this was abolished, alayhi salatu wasalam. It's all canceled underneath and beneath his feet. And likewise, anyone who comes nowadays to call the Muslims for similar feuds, whether he's calling others for communism, socialism, or being liberal, or being a, a, a capitalist, any calls that goes, any calls that go against Islam, such as the call of equality, feminism, liberty, all of this is against Islam. Not that Islam opposes freedom, no. But what kind of freedom are you hinting? Oh, the freedom for a man to walk naked or a woman to take off her hijab. This is not freedom. This is transgression against Islam, against the teachings and the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is abolished and canceled and underneath the feet of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Democracy, stating that we rule by the people by the people. This is all abolished. There is only one that rules, and that is the rule of Sharia, the rule of Quran and Sunnah, not the whims and desires of humans who change and flip every single minute. Also, the blood feuds, the errors of others, the mistakes of others, Allah says, and no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. So we can't blame others for things that they have not committed, let alone prosecute them and carry the sentence upon them.